what's up y'all welcome back to the channel if you already been here you already know what the deal is i don't even have to go through the whole little spiel if you are new here my name is marissa ray thank you for tuning in today so on today's agenda we are going to be doing another chit chat video um this is kind of like a i guess end of the year recap a little bit and i'm also going to do my hair so let's just kind of get started my hair is um freshly washed i literally just washed it and i had a deep conditioner the cantu uh, what they call it the cantu deep conditioning or deep treatment mask i let that sit in my hair for maybe about um two hours <laughs> hey ooh, before i get any further Please, please, please make sure you hit the subscribe button below and turn those post notifications on so that you never miss an upload from your girl here, okay? Follow me on Instagram as well at marissa.w. It'll be on the screen somewhere here and it will also be in the description below so you can't miss it. So really you don't even have an excuse to like not subscribe. You don't have an excuse to not follow. You don't have an excuse to do nothing, period, point blank okay so let's get to doing this hair um yeah my hair has been dyed for y'all who you know haven't been watching my videos but my hair is dyed it's growing out a lot I do have um, a video on how I dyed it a little bit lighter that video will be in the link in the description so make sure you check that out and I will also leave my wash and go routine in the link below as well so make sure you check that out everything that you need will be in the description box below today I honestly don't know what I'm doing to my hair I have no idea all I know is I'm a you know have to moisturize my hair of course so I got my white peony leave-in conditioner I got my curl enhancing smoothie shea moisture um, I do have my Cantu coconut curling cream because I'm probably like gonna run out of product of my Shea Moisture and I need to go buy some more. And I also have this Wonder Girl Jamaican Black Castor Oil stuff here. Water, boom boom. I have mixed up a little bit of concoction in this little bottle. This is um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil and, well, no, it's just, ooh. <laughs> Jamaican Black Castor Oil. And I got my Eco Styler Gel. I think I need some clips hold on right so I do have some clips now to start off I do want to say thank y'all so much for the support and um, some of the new subscribers that I've gotten um, over the past like week since I posted my wash and go routine thank y'all for joining us today I'm crying well maybe you've been here but That's a first. Usually I sneeze multiple times, not just one. Y'all, I don't even have a comb. All right, y'all. And I am in my jammies. Ooh, ooh. Okay. But yeah, y'all, so I appreciate the support that y'all have shown me. And um, I got a lot of feedback from that my wash and go video. Um, just about the little talk through part of it. And of course my hair, you know, you already know how that go. But I'm very happy that that type of video was able to um, inspire y'all or whatever it did for y'all. I'm happy that it did it. And so I'm going to continue to make video videos like that for y'all because I um, like the fact that y'all enjoy it, you know. So, 2019, OMG, it's coming to an end. I apologize if you hear any bit of noise. My mama is um, talking. See, there she go. I don't know. Not she on the phone. Really? <sighs> I don't even know if y'all can hear it, but if y'all can, I apologize. We just gonna continue on with our day. Um, so yeah, y'all. I do like these. I kind of like this type of video though, I guess, because it's like, it kind of allows me to um, be myself you know cuz I don't have to be doing like a perfect little tutorial you know so 
So I'm gonna just work one section at a time. Y'all know, I always usually just, you know, I work section by section. So 2019 was an interesting um, year, but a pretty like good year, I would say, you know, like, I mean, cause a lot of good things happened. Um, a lot of good things happened. Oh, I'm gonna put this part up first. So I'm gonna just corn roll like a, a few braids at the front, I guess. I don't know y'all I'm just trying to do something cute because you know New Year's Eve is tomorrow when I upload this the day this uploads is probably going to be New Year's Eve which will be tomorrow for me um so I'm pour some oil on my scalp but y'all so 2019 was kind of like a year of um ups downs all arounds you feel me but like good stuff too because I learned so much like I feel like I've learned that like in an enormous amount of generosity if that makes sense um because um I am I haven't always been so generous I guess if that makes sense I kind of um grew up being a little bit more selfish and generosity and, and um, selflessness is something that I've really began to learn this year. Just people around me, jobs, like, I don't know y'all, I just have really learned to be a lot more generous and letting myself go. A lot happened this year. I mean, like, so much independence, so much, like, ugh. It's just interesting. I can't even like go through everything to be quite honest with y'all. But it just amazes me how God can like pull you through something and then like at the same time reveal something to you. Because if you want me to be honest, I've never um, experienced this type of like you know like so eager to give or so eager to share and that may not be a big deal to some of y'all but for me it is because I know where I came from and who I used to be now mind you let's not let's not be fooled here and be like you know I'm perfect now or I don't still like either you know have an attitude sometimes or like you know feel like oh no I don't want to share that or give that yes yeah, sometimes those tendencies can come up but I've learned to kind of reflect on that and push that to the side and be like, you know, it, it, it's the Bible does say it's better to give, better it's better to give than to receive. So I think I um for 2020 especially, and and just for the rest of my life to be quite honest, I want to just be more of a giver, you know, like I don't want to um. You know, ultimately, none of this is about me. It's not about me. It's really not. It's about helping God's people. And I just love that I have the opportunity to help his people, you know? And it's like, think about this. This is the craziest thing you could ever think of. Okay, listen to this. Listen real close, honey. Listen closely. The people that you hate, I don't hate anyone. I really do not. I do have a dislike for not many people you know what let's be real here I don't even dislike people there's not a person that I can say oof I do not like that person Ugh. there's not a person like that there is some people that I could be like mm, I'd prefer not to talk to them but I'm not gonna say that I don't like them you know what I'm saying I don't you my feelings towards you are not that dramatic you know what I'm saying I have a little bit more love in my heart to say that I dislike someone like that because the people that you dislike and the people that you claim you hate the people that get on your nerves blah 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 blah. guess what God loves them so therefore if you if you saying that you hate them or you dislike them you must not like they created again okay sis you gotta I mean that's crazy to think about ain't it the person you saying you hate or don't like God loves them I mean like 
God loves them. That's his child, okay? So whenever you, y'all like almost, I don't know, get in the mood where y'all feel like, like, oh, I don't like this person or, you know, because there's people that at, at, at your jobs that can bother you. There's people at your school. There's people at home. There's even family that b may bother you or whatever the case is, y'all. Um, whatever the case is. But the crazy thing about it is God loves them. So you might as well learn how to love them too. <laughs> Honestly, because Bible says like you can't you can't hate you can't love me but hate your neighbor or something like that. You know. So and even when it comes to like being judgmental and all those things, I see so many people in the world, um, especially like church people, um, who can be very judgmental. But you know, Jesus loved to be with the people who nobody liked, who everybody thought was maybe bad, or every, who everybody thought was like, you know, not good or something. Jesus loved them, you know why? Because the most change comes from them. Imagine like having a person, you know, that's been good all their life. You, you know, you're not gonna really expect nothing much out of them. But when a person who, you know, came from dirt, came from straight, like, you know, from the bottom or something like that. Oh my gosh, God is so happy to have them, you know, come to him. And he's so happy for them type of people to come to the church. And for us, people who love God, you know, and don't, you know, people who love God, he expects us to help those type of people instead of looking down on them and shaming them and, you know, making them feel like they're not worthy of coming to church or something like that um yeah you should like love those people because <laughs> god loves them he i mean he loves for them to give their life and stuff like that so that was random huh but i was watching uh michael todd i was watching michael todd the other day Y'all, my hair, I'm sorry, this is going to be an all over the place video. I'm going to try to do my hair and talk at the same time, but we're going to see how that works. Okay. <laughs> but, um, what was I saying anyway? I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, I was watching Michael Todd earlier. And you know, uh, at their church, Transformation Church, they got their um, series of Crazy Faith. So, I've watched pretty much all of them. I don't think I've watched every single one, but I've at least... If, if I haven't watched all of them, I've seen at least a clip of all of them or something. Um, but I've, I've pretty much been faithful in watching those. But today I was watching the um, one of the most recent ones, Fading Faith. I think they're Saving Faith. is like episode 20 or, or tw whichever. But I was watching... Um, Sorry, y'all. My mama talking on the phone. <laughs> I was watching. How do I want to do this? First of all, let me let me try to braid this little part, and then I'm a um, I'm gonna talk back with y'all. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> So y'all, I'm gonna just go ahead and finish this on the other side and get back with y'all, okay? All right, y'all, so I ended up getting this side done. This side, I had to start over with this side, you know why? Because these silly rubber bands here, the goody, um, fine hair, clear rubber bands, are trash okay they kept popping literally on every every piece of my hair they popped so I'm not using them instead I'm using the black kind these are just the Walmart brand and that's what I used on um, all of these over here so that's what I'm gonna do for this side I'm sorry y'all this video was kind of all over the place because first of all I didn't know what I wanted to do with my hair um, Second of all, your girl is, you know, I'm just struggling here. So, I got to do this side over. And I'm just taking some gel along the sides. 
but anywho y'all I think I can talk at this point because I know what I'm doing and I already got my parts <laughs> so and this may not be perfect y'all but I was just trying something so oh well if it ain't perfect oh well um so yeah y'all I'm excited for the new year because I mean there's just a lot in store you know there's a lot that we have in store a lot God is gonna do for us it's a lot God is gonna do for us and I'm just thankful um, that he's continued to make those things happen for us so y'all stay on y'all game okay stay on top of your game stay on top of what you got going on don't worry about what nobody else got going on um just worry about you sis because that's all you got okay that's all you need to do is worry about yourself and take care of your family your people who you know who you know rock with you or whatever take care of them but everybody else honey you don't owe them nothing and i said this in the last video um but everybody can't go with you to your next destination so you just gotta know who's for you who's not for you and act accordingly and that's what I'm trying to do for the rest of my life okay for the rest of my life uh oh yeah. <laughs> it's a movie playing if y'all hear that movie <laughs> it's my mama mother is oh watching a movie I'm just trying to make sure this ain't too tight cuz oh child yep so as I'm done doing this I'm gonna go in and moisturize everything like I normally would you feel me just like normal I just can't believe I had to start all them over like I cannot believe that. All because of them crazy rubber bands that did not want to act right. I mean. Now I'm ready to get the rest of this going. Earlier, wasn't I talking to y'all about being hopeful? Um, yeah, we should be hopeful. It's like shoot for the stars. Don't let nothing um stop you from shooting high or having goals, ambition. Um, never stop hoping but not just for yourself you know cause this life is not about us y'all it's really not y'all already know who it's about I talk about him all the time Jesus <laughs> y'all know his name period point blank y'all y'all better know his name Where she's stopping like here under my armpit it's a little bit like past my armpit
so I would like for y'all to let me know either way whether you DM me whether you um, leave me a comment snapchat um, whatever the case is let me know what you guys expect to um, see from me in 2020 let me know what content y'all want me to create um, and please be like active and let me know that way I can you know give y'all what y'all want to see obviously I want y'all to be you know y'all watching my videos so I want y'all to be um, pleased with them and any helpful pointers I can give y'all let me know um, any type of videos y'all want me to do informative funny fun whatever just let me know and I can see about doing it you know cuz I like to um, be able to give y'all you know what y'all are looking for so y'all just gotta communicate that with me and I'll be happy to do so I will 100% be so happy to do so for y'all cuz y'all support me so I support y'all and it's only up from here and by the way y'all I'm sure y'all seen it but we are so close to uh, 1,000 subscribers oh my gosh you know that may be small to most people which is small to me but I'm thankful and um, you know it's just it's exciting because I know that you know people who may be trying to do stuff like this you know kind of like a entrepreneur type of thing or like a you know like they you know having something for themselves not just working for somebody else it's hard to do those things especially when people around you have never done it and I don't have any like close friends family anything like that that do YouTube or really like a social media influencer or nothing like that um, I don't really have I'm kind of like the only one <laughs> doing that type of stuff I guess like this type of stuff like you know like YouTube channel or whatever um oh my gosh I hate when that happens I don't like for it to straighten like that it makes me feel like something's wrong um so yeah y'all I'm just let me know what y'all want from me let me know so that I can do that and then, you know, get more active and, and more interactive, I mean, like with y'all and stuff. Um, come on now. I'm going to be curling. Um, because I just think that is so cool to be able to interact with y'all, you know? People that I never met and y'all support me more than uh, some people that I know face to face. You know what I'm saying? And you know, ain't nothing wrong with that because people have their reasonings, people do what they do, but you should have supportive people around you, like your closest people, whether it be parents, boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, husband, wife, friends, maybe even some of your co-workers, um, you should be, like, they should be supporting you, like, and it's like support to the point where it's like you don't have to ask them for support, you know? Because it's like you would do the same for them, right? If they was doing other things, you know? You would do the same for them, so they should definitely do that for you too. I think I'm pretty much done with the styling part. Um... I may show y'all like tomorrow, maybe after it dries a little bit. But yeah, y'all, let me know what y'all think. I think it looks pretty cute. So just in case I don't show y'all this in the morning after it dries, I'm going to just go ahead and say peace out, okay? Just in case, because I'd rather be safe than sorry. I might get lazy tomorrow. Plus, I want to upload this and make sure y'all can see this by tomorrow. Um, yeah, so this will be the last video of 2019. 
okay and what y'all think about these little chit chats I know um, some people you know have told me about the previous video that they enjoyed the little chit chat videos me kind of giving a little bit of background a little bit of story a little bit of um, motivation or whatever you feel me so that was a small little chit chat I be getting distracted because you know I gotta do two things like do my hair and do the uh what's the jig it you know and talk at the same time and that was difficult today because first of all i didn't even know what i was gonna do with my hair i didn't know and then with these stupid rubber bands do not buy these do not buy these unless it was just me and my hair is too thick for this because it does say fine hair um I didn't re recognize that at first but is it because my hair was moisturized like silky because these don't pop these black ones do not be popping on me I don't know but anywho y'all I enjoyed today's video it's kind of all over the place but you know you girls are just talking and giving y'all content and um, hopefully you know y'all learn something from it too outside of just hair you know this should be about life too not just hair so um yeah make sure y'all subscribe if you haven't already follow me on instagram follow me on snapchat if you want to just keep up with your girl and that's all i got for this video y'all yeah that's all i got hope you enjoyed thank you for watching i love y'all peace